Mr. Caldor, this trial is not scheduled for another two weeks, so you'd better have a good reason for calling us here. I do, Your Honor. I would like you to remove Ms. Wheeler from this case. On what grounds? On the grounds that you were an attorney of record for my client. Is that true, Ms. Wheeler? Absolutely not. I never worked on their case. Well, according to this billing sheet, uh, you absolutely did. This was seven years ago for two hours. Your Honor, I was an associate. Someone must have told me to run some copies and bill it to them. And a minute ago, you had never worked for them at all, and now it's just running copies? Your Honor. This is your billing sheet, isn't it? I mean, this is your signature, isn't it? Yes. But even if I technically worked for Grayscale, I never had access to privileged information. And unless you're lying about your billables, a just barable offense, by the way, then technically or not, you're bound by privilege. And Your Honor, she's prohibited from bringing a suit against an old client. I'm afraid he's right, Ms. Wheeler. So unless there's someone else from your firm not bound by privilege, this case is dismissed. Harvey, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you have a minute? <gasps> I don't believe this. Shit went sideways with your case already and you want my help. I didn't say that. You didn't need to, because you're here with your pass the butter voice. And I warned you this would happen. Maybe you did, but- Not maybe. I said you were picking a fight with the wrong guy and you said you knew what you were doing. Okay, Harvey, you were right. Now you want to say I told you so or do you want to help me beat this guy? You don't know what I want to do, but since I can't do that, I guess I have to help you. If what you're wanting to do is take a swing at me, we can take this into the ring once we're done. I meant I want to tape your mouth shut, but I heard you talk a big game with your boxing, and trust me, you don't want a piece of this. I don't just box, Harvey, I kickbox, and my leg is 50 times stronger than your arm. And picking fights outside of your weight class is how you got into this mess in the first place. So you want to figure out how to get out of it, or you want to make up fairy tales about how you'd kick my ass? I want to figure out how to get out of this. Then we're going to go upstairs and order an extra large pepperoni and cheese. Because I might not have picked this fight, but there's no way I am letting Eric, I need a haircut, Caldor, get the better of one of my people. Hold on. If we can prove you never had any contact with Grayscale, we can argue no privileged relationship existed. It's an idea, but even if we subpoena everybody from back then, it's not in their interest to clear me so I can sue them. Plus, Caldor could still say it doesn't matter because you saw confidential information. God damn that man. All I wanted was to get Robert another client. No, you're a saint and all you were doing was God's work. All right, you don't have to rub it in. I do if we're gonna have any fun tonight. Speaking of fun, it's late, we just shared a pizza. I have to ask, what is it with you and Robert? I'm not talking about me and Robert with you. Oh, so you can tell Don about yourself, but you can't tell me? You know we went out. Of course I do, I know everything. Even the time that you tried to... No, you don't know anything. You're just trying to get me to spill the beans because Donna wouldn't. So what if I am? Hmm. That's exactly what I said to you when you called me out on doing this because of Alex. So what if I am? Maybe we're more alike than you thought after all. And that's what you tried telling me when you first got here. That night in my office when you flipped me the bird. As I recall, you flipped it right back. Yeah, well, maybe we really Wait are. Wait a second. More alike than we thought. What if it's not just you and me? What do you got? Caldor. He said the only way I could get around the billing sheet was to say I'd lied about it. But what if he's the one who lied and that sheet never existed? Looks like someone needs to pay a visit to Eric Caldor. You think you can handle it? Why would I handle it? Because you helped me when you didn't have to. And you just said you wanted to have some fun. And what better way to have some fun than sticking it to Eric Haldor? I get it. You don't just want to get Robert a present. You want to get me personally invested in your success. So what if I do? OK, Samantha, I'll take care of Eric. But before we call it a night, this idea came from you suggesting you're like him. And then you started talking about fabricating evidence. The answer is no, Harvey. I've never fabricated evidence in my life. 